Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen. Today we will prepare a popular British pub menu item, the Ploughman's Lunch. This is traditionally a cold meal consisting primarily of bread and cheese and served with some kind of pickle. And today we're gonna serve it with some of that homemade Branston pickle that we made in the previous video. It's delicious, easy to prepare, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you an alternate way to serve this as a sandwich. So thanks for watching, let's get started. Cut your butter into cubes and leave it out at room temperature so that it can soften and it's easy to spread on the bread later. For the perfect soft hard boiled egg, place your egg into boiling water and set the timer for eight minutes. If you would like your yolk more cooked, then set the timer for a little longer. Prepare some ice water and as soon as that timer goes off, place your egg into the water to stop it cooking more. Next, prepare the juice from half a lemon and we'll use that later on. Traditionally, a crusty bread is used, so today I'm using some sourdough baguette, but any rustic style bread will do. Just try and avoid using some plain white sliced bread. And if you're interested, there is a wonderful simple to make bread recipe on the channel, as well as many other delicious British recipes. Slice up some ham and for those of you living in Korea I get this from Costco and serve up some salad and you'll find this coleslaw recipe also on the channel. Now both the ham and the coleslaw are modern additions to this recipe but I like both the flavor and the color that these bring to this lunch. The star of a show in a plowman's lunch is the cheese so you'll see me plating up three different types of English cheddar and a quick little bit of history I believe the plowman's lunch first became popular by the milk marketing board in the 1960s to be eaten at midday in pubs as a way to boost cheese sales. Originally the lunch was very basic and was to resemble something that plowmen might have eaten in the fields and it consisted of bread, beer, cheese, pickle and some kind of fruit or salad. If you go into a pub these days you'll find that the plowman's lunch has been modernized to include a variety of other ingredients so in today's recipe I've tried to keep it very basic for you. You will notice I have added some celery and tomatoes and an egg and make sure that you season your egg really well with some salt and pepper. For some fruit I keep it really simple with an apple which I cut up and then dip in some of that lemon juice we squeezed earlier to slow down the oxidation. If you like this style of eating and presentation, then may I recommend that you also check out my cheese and charcuterie board video on the channel. It is also very easy to prepare and perfect for the summer months when it's too hot to cook. The final things to add to our plowman's lunch are a few gherkins or pickles and the classic Branston pickle which I showed you how to make in the previous video. And if you've never tasted this before, it really pairs well with the cheese. Alternatively, you could also add some homemade pickled onions or some bacon onion jam and both of these will also take your flavor combinations to another level. To finish off our plowman's lunch, I serve with a wonderful cold beer. And you'll also notice that I add a little bit of mustard onto the platter because we're serving some ham. And although this is an optional extra, it goes really well with this. As you can see from today's video, this traditional plowman's lunch is really simple to make at home to share with friends and family and perfect to serve during the warmer weather with a cold beer or some cider. And if you don't want to make the plowman's lunch, then just make the plowman's sandwich. And this video is also on the channel. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless.